During the palace coup, crowds had begun to gather outside the Holyrood Palace and Mary was warned not to go to the window in case she incited a riot. So they made up some bollocks about her having Covid to keep her out of the public eye and off of the balcony. One of the conspirators, Lord Ruthven, he pointed a loaded pistol at Mary's pregnant belly, not to intimidate the Queen. He was merely trying to arm the fetus, as is its unborn constitutional right. The following morning, Murray and the exiled lords of the chase about raids, they crossed over the border and entered into the city, swaggering about Edinburgh, acting like they owned the place. They were like a private school improv group during the fringe. Now, the parliament in which they were set to lose their land and titles was supposed to meet in just three days time and so Darren Lee dissolved the parliament and he told anyone that was in Edinburgh for the meeting of parliament that they had three hours to leave the city. This was obviously before ScotRail and the tram works. It's hard to envisage now a time in which it was actually possible to leave Edinburgh in under three hours. Mary, she was locked in her private bedchamber but she feigned pregnancy pains and she used her midwives and her nurses to get secret messages out to her supporters. Now the conspirators up to this point had committed treason, brutally murdered one of the Queen's closest advisers and had illegally shut down the parliament but even they knew not to piss off an angry pregnant woman. Mary then turned her attention to Darnley who she thought she could manipulate. She told Darnley that the Lords were never given what he wanted. 41% of them didn't even want him there. He had just shut down the very Parliament in which they were supposed to vote to grant him the Crown Matrimonial. Now they had what they wanted. They were going to cut him loose and even worse, kill him. And so a panic Darnley, he went full Bill Clinton and begged his wife for forgiveness. And on the 11th of March, they escaped out of a secret passageway where they met with Mary's equerry, which is like her horse guy. Not like a ketamine dealer, like an actual horse guy. And they rode through the night to the safety of Dunbar, a 25 mile journey in which a heavily pregnant Mary had to stop regularly to be sick. And despite all of this trauma and her pregnancy, Mary had acted with incredible calmness and composure. She was so composed, in fact, that when they reached Dunbar, Mary cooked breakfast for everyone. 